All right, we're shooting a maternity session today. I've got no flash, no assistant, no reflector even, and I'm gonna show you how to capture sunset. And yes, you have to shoot it a certain way. I've got a camera setting secret for you, as well as wait till I show you how to edit it. You'll probably be surprised the way I edit these photos. And at the end, you might get a little freebie, a little freebie from me, so stay tuned. First things first, that little itty bitty secret. Now it's not just about editing. A lot of people look and think, well, you're editing the photo and that's how you do it. Well, yeah, it does have to do a little bit with editing, but there is a Canon secret and I'm not sure if other brands have it. I'm shooting with the Canon R6 Mark II. I've got my 28 to 70 and my 135 in the bag. Now here's a little secret. You're gonna go over to menu and I do have to look around where it is. I'm pretty sure it's in the red camera setting, I believe. Yes, there it is. Okay, so red camera number two, we're gonna go down to highlight tone priority. We're gonna go from on to, I'm gonna go for enhanced in this case because I know I'm going to be shooting with um, the sunset in mind. Now what this does, and there's a little trick about this, I'm just gonna hit okay. What highlight tone priority does is it tells the camera, hey, I want you to get as much detail as possible in the highlights and that's what I want and you'll see why with the way I shoot and the way I edit later. It's a magical combination of all three things. So that is step number one, enable highlight tone priority. Okay, now all good deeds, you know, come at a price, what's the saying? Here's the thing, when it comes to, and you'll see it's already highlighted here, when I have my highlight tone priority, I cannot go down lower than 200 ISO. So that might shoot me in the foot, I don't know, but just so you know when you're using highlight tone priority, no lower than 200 ISO. All right, that's it, let's go shoot. Yeah, and I love how you're like bending your foot. That's great. Oh, that's so pretty. So I love what you're doing here. Just bend your elbow back a little more. Yeah, and then look down that way. Oh my God, that's so beautiful. Good, and then look at your belly kind of there. Beautiful, go ahead and put the hat on. Yeah, that's good. And then same kind of thing, but turn your body a little more towards me. Yes, like that. And then the bottom arm bring out a little bit more. So what you want is like separation here. Yeah, and then elbow back. That's it, that looks really, yep, that one looks great. Good, and then look over there past me and then back at me again. That is so good. Oh, this looks great. Stay there, just coming closer. And I'm gonna get some of just your belly. So yeah, kind of like here. That looks good right there. Good, and bring your hands out a little more. Yeah, and then kind of like think like you're playing piano with your fingers, yeah. And then just look down. Nice, and look back at me. And yeah, go, I do that again, but like looking at me doing it, yeah. That looks awesome. Just wanna turn. Oh, I love how you are. Just maybe put your one hand down and a little bit further away. So you always want like your arms to be separate from your body, so yep. And then just kind of, again, you play piano with your fingers, so you're like nice and light. And then the other hand can go under. Oh, that is so stunning. And then look down again. Good. And look down um, more forward, like towards the belly. But um, stick your chin forward a whole bunch like that. Yeah. That's gorgeous. And then just kind of like giggle, like laugh. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, this looks so good. Let's see. Ooh, you know it'd be fun. Just look out that way. So you're gonna look all the way down the road. Yep. Uh, that way, yeah. And then look at the baby again. Perfect. 
Perfect. Okay, come a little bit more this way. So I'm thinking if you come here and actually totally like sit down, let me just see what it looks like. Yeah, I like with the crisscross too. Love that, nice. And then do that little belly hold again. And look off that way. And then kind of down, yeah. And then switch your hands. Put this hand down, put this hand on top. Yeah, that looks really good. Amazing. I'm just backing up to the road. And then look down again. Oh, these look excellent. I'm gonna do some a little bit closer up. So I like how you like lean forward. Maybe go back, let me see. Now that does look good. I love it when you go back because then your like hair kind of goes back and it's super cute. Nice. And then maybe the hand and back, let's put on top. Uh, switch the other one. Let me see what that looks like. Yeah. And then give me like a little hee <laughs> hee giggle. <laughs> and then look down again. Are you okay if you stand here? Is that okay to do? Mm, you know what? Let's go on the other side. I can't believe you've never had your maternity photos done. You're like, so much fun to photograph. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Double check. Yep. Good. And then look down at the baby. I'm going to get my other lens. So just hang out, look pretty. I'll be right back. All right, so from there, yeah, do that actually turn around and look back at me over your shoulder. Yeah, oh my God. <laughs> Typical. That looks great. And then look down at the belly. Bring your elbows back a little bit and look towards me again. That is perfect. Let me check. That looks good. And then down at the belly again. Okay, let's go a little closer to these pink, pink ones. That's fun. Maybe play with the branches a little bit. Nice, and then look at me again. That's really pretty. Okay, and then, so turn away from me. So you can like look at me over your shoulder. Keep going so I don't see your back at all. So move your feet a little. Yes, and then look towards me. Cute. Move all your hair back. Give it a little shake, yeah. Love it. And look just that way. That's really, really pretty. And then look back at me. And then down at the baby. We're gonna go a little bit further. Come right here. That's a good spot. And you can get the whole sky behind you with the moon and everything. So like, yeah, two more, right there. You can kind of do like a foot forward. Yeah, and then maybe that elbow comes back a little. Put all your hair behind you. There you go. And then look kind of off that way. That's it. Oh, that looks so good. Stay right there, just backing up into the road. Good, and then looking at me again. Cute. All right, let's just do a couple by that tree there. So I think that'll look really pretty back with my other lens. And then we'll do some kind of with the belly just close up. Yeah, and then do that like almost play piano. Yeah. And then this hand go higher, like right here. Yep, you can relax the elbow down. Yeah, and then just loosen your fingers a little. Good. Oh yeah, this is so pretty. Good, turn a little towards me. Yeah, right there. And then look down again.
and then back at me. Oh, sorry. I'm just gonna change my lens one last time. So I was to turn towards me a little bit. Actually, you could stay there, but just lean on one foot. Yeah, and kind of turn more this way. Good, and then look down at the baby. And then just kind of like play with your hair a little. Oh yeah, let's do something about that. Yeah, there we go. I love that, I love that smirk. Cute. And look off that way for a couple. That is amazing, look at the baby. So pretty, brush your hair back again. Cute. Look over, kind of do like a little shoulder. Perfect, I love that. Bring your elbow back a little more and kind of down. Yeah. This is so pretty. Take a baby step this way. I'm just gonna get the full lane. Oh, so pretty, and then just walk towards me. Good, just kind of smiling, looking at the baby. Right there is really pretty. Let me back up a bit. Beautiful. Good, kind of smiling, looking down. Yeah. And then look at me. That's perfect. Love that. So cute. Let's just do one more close up without the hat on. I think we'll go back here again. So that was kind of perfect. Yeah, right there. And then look out this way. Good, just like happy smile, little smirk. That is amazing. And then down at the baby. And then up at me. Beautiful. Oh, that looks so pretty. Holy crap. Let me just get your close up. So you're gonna go back a little bit. Just watch. Actually, stay right there. I'm gonna go that way and photograph you this way. And then look up at me again. <laughs> Good. And then looking down at the baby. Good, stay right there. I'm gonna back way up. Good, cute, look down again. Fantastic, let me do a couple more closures. Good, and then look down one more time. Good. We got it. Thank you so much for doing this for me. Yeah, thank you. I'm gonna have some memories. Of yes. <laughs> okay. And then look kind of that way. And I think you had your elbow back a little more. Yeah, there you go. That looks so good. And then look out that way. When photographers say one more picture, you know. A little bit more up, like three more feet. It's never one more picture. Yeah, right there. Cute. And then look that way. Yes, and put your hand on your hat. That's it. And then one hand on your purse. And then look back at me. Cute. That was perfect. Okay, I swear I'm done. I swear I'm done. Before we get any further in this video, let me tell you about this video sponsor, Squarespace. I have been using Squarespace for probably over a decade. Squarespace is a platform where you can create beautiful custom websites in just a few minutes. Choose from a plethora of templates where you can easily plug and play your own work. It's an all-in-one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. We all know that an online presence is crucial for your brand, so build one that's 
stands out. Head over to this link for my exclusive 10% discount on your first domain at Squarespace. Now back to the video. Oh my God, these are the worst pictures ever. Why am I watching Vanessa? She doesn't even know how to expose for a photograph. I know these pictures out of camera should probably scare you. You know, ideally this is a much better exposure right here, but since we are trying to get sunset without flash, we have to get as much detail in the photograph as possible. So while we are photographing here, and you can kind of see my settings getting played with in this little area, what I'm doing is I'm trying to look for that perfect exposure where I have detail in the sky and detail in the shadows. So it's a little bit of both. And looking at this histogram is really helpful right here. It looks like I actually had about a stop I could have gone up now I know what you're thinking could I have you know brightened it up and actually clipped my highlights here yeah potentially but like right here this is kind of the perfect exposure right I'm getting as much detail as I possibly can in this photograph in the shadows in the highlights yes it's totally underexposed yes the lighting looks heinous but that's kind of the point of this is we are showing you how to do this without a reflector without um, an assistant without off-camera flash um, so this is what we came up with this is another good example i think i'm going to end up liking these a lot you know again just you can see i peeked to the top went to the bottom but didn't underexpose or overexpose i just got as much detail as humanly possible in this image and that's exactly exactly what we were going for so that we can now enhance what we captured if i had exposed for you know her skin tone and for my subject look what happens here we're totally peaking this up here is completely blown out here let's go ahead to hit show blown highlights yep completely blown out all of that red that's not going to help me unless i am using some sort of ai and plopping in the sky but that's not the point of this video right here this video the point of it is to capture what's there and bring it back through editing, getting as much detail as possible. You know what, maybe at the end of this, maybe I will show you the difference between what I do, enhancing reality, as opposed to what maybe AI does. That could be a lot of fun. So let's go ahead and pick some favorites. I think right here, that's like a good exposure, right? Hold on, show lost shadow detail, right? No lost shadow detail, no blown highlights, ba bam. Okay, so here we have one photo that I can definitely enhance this guy a little bit. As you can see, as I'm putting my uh, cursor over it, you can look over there on the top right that, you know, there is detail. Nothing is 100%, nothing's totally blown out except maybe street lights, yeah but I don't care about street lights. What I wanna do, thanks to Lightroom, you know, this this would have taken me a minute before. I mean, there's always a hundred different ways you can do something. You know, I could come up here to the luminance and drag down the sky, but then what's happening, right? You know, her, her dress where there's blue shadow there, it's pulling that down. Um, maybe it's gonna do something like, uh, I don't know, look at look at the moire or chromatic aberration or whatever we want to call that. Um, it's just, it's not going to work out really nicely. So we have um, adaptive presets that we can use. Pre um, Lightroom has their own. I have my own right here that we can use for the adaptive scene. And then I usually like to start off with just coloring the photo the way I want to color it, uh, which is always just a bag of tricks because I'm always like, I don't know, I like this, I don't like this. Anyway, okay, let's go with... Um, Let's just go with something classic. All right, so joyfully simple. Uh, I do wanna warm this up a little bit. I think it's a little bit cold. Good, okay, now what I'm gonna do, again, this is because I took it this way. I have all the information I need in here. There's nothing blown out. The information's already here. So I'm gonna go ahead to my adaptive scene and I can go to fiery sky here, magenta sky. We really can make it anything that we want to. Uh, I'm not looking for something totally crazy, so I'm just gonna go for fiery sky and then I can back off up here so it looks a little bit more natural to me that looks really good now i want to do a little bit more tweaking so i'm going to come over 
to my masks, click on fiery sky. And now I'm going to come to this part and just decide, you know, do I want it to be a little bit more saturated, a little bit more not saturated? Do I want to adjust the hue a little bit? Maybe let's not use fine adjustment. I want you to be able to see this. All right. Maybe I want to go more towards that pink, or maybe I want to go more towards the yellow. Uh, I'm a pink person. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep it on the pink. All right, so these are some things that we can do. Of course, we can bring down the highlights more if we want to darken it and just look how much better that looks versus what we try doing at first. All right, all that information is there. So we can do this. The nice part about this, let's go down with the whites a little bit. That's good. Maybe a little less contrast. I just don't want to end up seeing, you know, the edges right there because that's when you like lose the, the fantasy here. <laughs> let's bring this up a little bit. I do like having a little bit more mid. Let's go here a little bit more. Mid contrast, that looks pretty good. I could bring that down. The other thing I'm gonna do is come down here to my saturation. I'm actually gonna take out a lot of the blues. Let me just show, this is like a little tricky poo. When you have shadows in your outside, these blues happen. So see the blues here and see the blues in the shadows. So what I'm doing is actually taking that out and it just makes this a little bit more uniform. Um, you could do the same with like the aqua if you want to. Something I do like doing uh, in the hue section here is I like taking my greens and going to yellow just to make it a little bit more uniform. You might like the opposite. You might like going to green. Uh, I tend to like this and I'm also going to boost the saturation on those. Uh, now, yellow does affect skin tone, so you might not want that to be more saturated, or you might, um, and you just want to keep a good, I think I'm going to come down with the orange, yeah, because her skin tone's a little bit more there. Yeah, that looks really good to me, and then I'll probably end up cropping it a little bit because I don't need all that grass right there, right? That's my picture. All right, and the fun thing about this is once I get there, I can just come to here and I can click previous and what it's going to do is it's going to take all those AI settings to see how it just did that all automatically. Um, now you may or may not like that. Uh, it also did the crop. So let's take that out, but, um, you may or may not want that pink for here. And of course you can just go and adjust as necessary, right? So we can just pull that back if we want to, or we can decide that, Hey, I want this to be more of like a blue type sky. So just kind of fun things you can mess around with. That's adding it in. Now, I know what you're thinking right now. You're like, Vanessa, this is, I mean, fine, I suppose. But quite frankly, you had a pretty boring sky. And you know what? You're absolutely right. I did have a boring sky. Uh, there was not a cloud to be found. So it was a little bit, eh, a little bit, okay, fine. Like, that's not really what I wanted. Um, but I showed you what I was shooting when I was shooting it. And that's just what we got. So here's what I'm thinking. Let's take this photo, take it into a little AI and see how far we can go. I'll retouch in Evoto, one of my favorite ways to retouch. You can go over here to presets, recommended. There's even specifically a maternity touch up because it is touching up the pregnancy uh, stretch marks, which is something that you want to ask your clients if they want that retouched. And in this case, my client did. So you could even come over here to stretch marks and then this pregnancy line. Uh, this is something that us ladies get when we're prego and right there, that pregnancy line, she mentioned she did not want. So we can take that off. And of course the skin retouching, this is all to your preference. Personally, it's a little bit much for me right now. So I'm going to pull back a little bit on the body smoothing and the face skin smoothing, just so it's a little bit more natural and not quite as retouched. So here's a little bit of a before and after ever so slight, just retouching the skin a little bit, smoothing everything out. And again, it's really to your preference. Um, she did mention that she did not want uh, a lot of the belly and you know, the Audi and all that. So we're just going to make that super smooth. And in one click, we can do exactly the same here. Let's go ahead to this photo and just see what we can do as far as adding in some sky. So you can do that here with Evoto. We've got a sky replacement option where we can add a little bit of sky since we really did not get, you know, the best sky in the entire world. Because hey, sometimes you can have all of the photo knowledge in the world, but if you don't have the sky there to actually photograph, that's not going to matter. I think I kind of like this one. Let's take a look, little edge adjustments. We can of course adjust the sky itself. I think I want to go a little bit cooler than normal and then I'm going to warm up the entire image. 
We're gonna blur the sky so it looks like I photographed it the way I photographed it. And then one of my favorite little things, I know she's just gonna want a little nip and tuck here. We got the liquify tool and I just want to bring in this little tiny bit over here. And there we go. We got our before and after. Not too shabby for a little AI that just brought us the sky that day. Of course, you know, use what you can, expose for what's there, but if you want a little bit of not reality, there you go. So that's how I would bring in the sky without a reflector or off camera flash, either with AI or without. Hit like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you do in these situations.